But he... he's my age. He was just a teenager at the time. Hogmoth was a professional at emotional manipulation, and he was his dad! It'd be so easy for him to convince his son to save his own mother, wouldn't it? Even someone as sweet as Adrian. Having magic like that thrust upon you at such a young age, being told that it's your duty, that it's for the greater good, it's hard to just say no. To have your family fall apart like that? To have someone you trust use you like that? I can't even imagine. He was Hogmoth's biggest victim, and he's been trying to move on with his life. And I've been treating him like a monster. Tiki, what am I doing? What am I supposed to do? Tiki always helped me sort my thoughts out. Tiki and... Is it still... It is! My diary! Man, it feels like forever since I last wrote in here. I wonder what my last entry was. I just miss them all so much. It's all my fault. I lost them. I don't want a relation. Okay, that's enough of that one. Sometimes I think I'm not cared for Ladybug stuff, but Chat Noir and Tiki really believe in me for some reason. On an unrelated note, I looked up imposter syndrome. I keep making things I want to give to Chat Noir, but Tiki says it wouldn't be safe. Chat Noir fell in the scene today during patrol. It was so funny, I started choking on my... Chat Noir made me blush and made fun of me for it live on TV. I'm gonna kill. Tiki's such a good baking partner. At least that's what I would say if she didn't keep eating the butter. Tiki, I know you're reading this. Tiki says she thinks Shat and I like each other, but we don't? We're just friends! So what if I scratch him under the chin, and so what if he jokes about marrying me? And so what if I think he's cute? And... Wait... Oh no... I'm in love! He keeps giving me roses. It's sweet, but how do I explain all these roses to my parents? I'm gonna kick Hogmoth's butt! It's time for a new entry.